cheese, it's drawn. She's drawn, she's true. She's drawn. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be doing a fun video today on my channel. It's gonna be a fun video. In today's video, we're gonna be creating a look that my friend has drawn for me. So yes, me and JD were collabing together. She has drawn a look for me and I have drawn a look for her. And yeah, I'm gonna be recreating it today. She will also have a video up on her channel, which will already be up. So of course I will link her YouTube, her video, her Instagram, all in the description box. In case you wanna go and follow her, she is beautiful, such a sweetheart. Go and give her a follow, go and give her a subscribe. She does, I think she does weekly videos on her channel. So go and check her out, cause she is just the sweetest girl ever. She's so sweet, so beautiful. She's got a beautiful heart. So yeah, go and check her out. Um, so yes, in today's video, we're gonna be recreating this look. It'll be on the screen right now. It is a hot pink goodness. Yes. If you wanna see the look that I drew for her, again, go check her video because yeah, it's very flowery. Let's just say that. Um, but yeah, she's picked for me a hot pink glittery look. So we've got my glitter here. We're gonna go full on pink. I'm excited. So I have already just done like my base, my bronzer, my brows. My brows are looking a bit odd. I can't, yeah, my brows are looking a little bit weird. I don't really know what's going on. We're just gonna ignore the brows. They're just looking a bit strange. So yeah, we're gonna jump straight on in to doing this look. I'm excited, excited. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the shadow. Um, So obviously she's giving me like this pink, hot pink, Nuss to do on the face hot pinkness yeah you know what i mean um so i have chosen the smoke and glow palette from hot ombre cosmetics they have a bright hot pink shade in here and i thought you know what that is i mean it's not the same exact color however we're gonna go for it because yeah i'm feeling it the shade was sitting here so yes i'm gonna start off by doing the brow bit first so she's taking it like in the inner corner and then like straight up almost. Um, so we're gonna use like a, I don't know what brush I'm gonna use, but yeah. Take this kind of brush and I'm gonna take that hot pink shade, that flare shade, this one here. I have actually used this palette before. Um, the video will be up soon. I haven't posted about it yet. Um, I haven't done like a proper creative look in such a long time, so. I was ready for a creative look, to be honest. this high one side's higher than the other I think look at this side it's a bit higher this looks kind of crazy but I'm here for it I'm here for it like I feel like once I get the rest of the pink on it'll look cute okay now we're gonna take the same hot pink shade and we're gonna take it on the cheeks and the forehead so yeah let's do this oh Head. so she wants this is how she's drawn it she's drawn it so the pink is on the forehead too so we're gonna obviously go with that on the forehead but not I mean it doesn't look 
super close to that. So we're not going to take it too far in. We're just going to we'll just make all this bit pink here. Also, she's actually taken this like on the brow a little bit, like here. Oh, okay. I didn't actually realise that. So it's like she's taken it there. So it's like underneath the brow bone. I couldn't really see it on the other side. That was all like. I'm just going to take just a little bit. That looks better, actually. Okay, um, I don't know whether to do the lashes first or not. I'm going to do the glitter first. We're going to do the glitter first. Actually, let me just pull a bit of highlighter on my nose. So I want to use the Revolution... Highlights who reloaded set the tone one. Now it looks like she's only put it just down the center of the nose, um, maybe the chin. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. I'm not gonna do my cheeks because I already have. Oh, there's gonna be glitter going there anyway, so it's like there's not much. There's not much point in that. So down the centre of the face I think will be nice, you know. So we've got the, this is the House of Sparkles glitter. It's the mixed glitter bag in Unifairy. I'm not too sure if they still do this. If they do, I will try and remember to link it in the description box because the glitter is beautiful. Like if you can see in the bag, it is so pretty. Um, I only just found out that actually you know, uh, House of Sparkle is still going. I I don't know whether, the, I think they might have discontinued and then started back up again. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I saw that someone commented on my one of my videos when I was using one of them. And they said that they actually were still going. And lo and behold, they're still going. So I'm actually quite, you know, quite impressed with that. On the photo, as you can see... There's a lot of glitter underneath the eyes, on top of the eyes, on the brow. It's pretty much just like sprinkled all over this whole area. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some bits first. I'm just going to put some on. I'm going to use lash glue. I'm just going to bob some pretty much all over this area. I'll do it on both eyes, you know, while we're here. We got glitter there, there's glitter there, yes. Yes, honey. Let's apply some more glitter go. Let me just bob some over here. Let's actually put some there. We're just gonna we're just gonna put some here, yes. We're just, yeah, we're just gonna put some everywhere. I'm gonna do my eyes last, so I'm literally gonna do like my forehead underneath my eyes, um, and then my eyelids last. I didn't put any on my eyebrows. Let me put some on my eyebrows. I will probably regret this decision. But here we are. And I will probably go into work tomorrow with stained pink eyelids. It is what it is.
I like it. I like it. So now I'm going to do the, the lid area. My under eyes feel so weird. Um, so I don't really know. We're just going to whap it wherever. We're just going to put it all over the lid. I'm going to regret this when it comes to taking this off. Like how am I meant to get this all off? We will see. Okay, so moving on, to, I'm going to do my mascara and lashes. I'm literally just going to use the Revolution 5D Lash Mascara. Been loving this mascara. Um, I've been trying out a few different mascaras at the minute, to be honest. And I would have to say, this is definitely one of my top mascaras. I love it. I thought I would just keep it without lashes, you know. But I kind of don't do any looks without lashes. So maybe this look could look cute without lashes. Do I keep it without lashes? Make it more simple? I never do, like, looks without lashes. Is it is it time? Is it time I did? For the lips, she's gone for, like, an ombre effect which is it's cute it's cute i'm not really like she's gone for the ombre that goes from like like a darker part on the inner portion and then lighter now that's not the right color so i have this color i think it'll be perfect for the inner portion but I don't like to promote Jeffree Star on my channel and it really annoys me but I'm still going to use this I'm really sorry that I'm promoting it whatnot I'm pretty sure you can find a dupe somewhere I just don't have anything that's similar to this so I'm going to use this I think yes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on like the inner portion I am so sorry if you missed part. I did just go in with the Makeup Obsession Matchmaker Lip Crane on the shade Dreamy around just the outskirts of the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. I'm really sorry that I used that. I know that I don't like to promote him on my channel, but there was nothing else that I could use that was like similar to what I wanted. So yeah, that's just me being 100% honest. So yes, I also then just went around with my beauty blender on the outsides because obviously I don't want it to be like too structured because obviously the lips in this are like not structured at all like it's darker on the inside than it is on that like at the out edge so yeah we just try and keep that kind of effect so yeah okay so this is the finished look what do you guys think sorry my hair has been in my face um I like it I think it is cute it is different I'm covered in glitter I'm here for it here for it let me know if you think that i killed the look um i think i did a pretty good job compared to the drawing that she gave me i think i did a pretty good job not gonna lie and also like who am i i'm not wearing lashes who who am i who am i i'm kind of living for it to be honest with you i'm kind of living for it um yes i'm really i really like it i can kind of like it it's crazy it's crazy but i'm here for it i'm here for it so yes let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll try and remember to link everything that i'm wearing in the description box down below um don't forget to go and check out jd's channel and her instagram and her video go and check it out because i have i'm, I'm so excited to see it i haven't seen the look yet I'm excited I'm here for it as always I'll be linking my social media handles above and also in the description box down below and yes I will see you guys in my next video bye